Today, we're going to learn to solve equation using combining like terms. All right, here we go. Woo! Hello, Yay! everybody. All right. <laughs> so we have been solving equations, and you guys are getting better and better and better. Well, today, we're going to get really fancy, and we're going to start solving multi-step equations by combining like terms. Okay, so remember our little groupie guys? They're going to be working today. Are you ready? Miss Benson, what's step number one? Step number one is to draw our line. Excellent. Then we're going to take a good look at this equation. We're going to look at the right side, negative 12. That's pretty plain. It's already where it needs to be. And we're going to look at the left side. And I'm noticing that there's a 3x, a 5x, and a 4. There is. How many families is that? Two families. That is two families. So we're going to need to put our x family together. And we're going to need to put our number families together. You always need to do that before you start solving. So, Miss Benson, what are we going to put in over here first? So, we've got a 3x, and yes. that 3x is positive. Yes, it is. Got to keep that sign. And we've got a positive 5x. And a positive 4. And... Fantastic. As Miss Benson puts those together for us, just remember, always move the sign that's in front of the term. It goes with it. All right. So what is three plus five? Eight. And bring down that eight. X. And then we're going to bring down our plus four. So now this is an expression that Miss Benson's going to write that we can begin to work with. Okay. So she's writing eight X plus four equals negative 12, and she might make a squiggly line so you don't get confused, or I'll make a squiggly line. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and we're going to start to solve, and it's just a plain two-step equation, so we got to get rid of that positive 4. How do we do it, Miss Benson? Subtract 4 on both sides, and that cancels out that, brings down your 8x, and you end up with a negative 16. Please use decimals for this. You don't want to make mistakes. And then you're going to go ahead from there, 8 times x to undo that. The inverse is division. And you end up with x equals negative 2. Now, this is the important part. We're going to come over here and we're going to check. Ms. Benson, can you read me the side of the equation with the variables the way it was originally? Of Let me go ahead and this is the side that we're typing in. Excellent. And then our answer. Perfect. So our right. answer was x equals negative 2. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in my first line. And then what do I start with my second? 3x uh -huh. plus All right. 5x okay. plus 4. And, and that gave me negative 12. Which is exactly what you are supposed to get. Fantastic. So we know this one is correct. Always check it. That way you make sure you know what you're doing. Okay, let's do our next example, Ms. Benson. You want right. to talk us through it, and I'll do the typing? Sure. Okay, so we're going to start the same way. We're going to draw our one line down the middle. This one looks a little bit different because I have just 16 on the left side, and then I have all my good stuff on the right side. Right. Okay? So I have 2y minus 8 plus 4y. So how many families do I have this time? That sounds like two families. You've got your Y family and you've got your number family. So Miss Benson is going to split them up into their little columns so we can put our families together. The first piece is positive 2Y plus 2Y. Negative 8 goes with the numbers and a positive 4Y. Then we're going to put them together. 2 plus 4 is 6Y minus Eight. Then we're going to move that expression up so that way we can start to solve. So 16 equals 6y minus 8. And I'll put my famous squiggly there. It's the only thing I do well when it comes to writing. And go ahead and solve, Miss Benson. All right. So instead of subtracting 8, the inverse is to add 8. Perfect. And I went ahead and put 16 plus 8 in my calculator and got 24. That's a good idea. Excellent. And then I have 6 times y, so I'm going to divide by 6. Excellent. Sounds like a plan. And I get 4. y equals 4. And it's written this way. I prefer it the other way, so I'm just going to switch it around. y equals 4 as my answer. 
And then we're going to check, aren't we? We are. So we're going to come over here, and we got y equals, and you told me four, four. correct? And then we're going to put in the side of the equation that has the variables, the original equation. That way we don't make, if we made a mistake here, we'll catch it, okay? So 2y, what's next, Ms. Benson? Minus 8. Minus 8. Plus 4y. Plus, oopsie, 4 Y, and that gave me 16. Does that look good? Yes, that's what we're supposed to get. Excellent. So we knew that we checked it correctly. All right. So this kind is really not much harder than the two-step equations. It's just got that families part at the beginning. So what you're going to do is you're going to pause the video, and you're going to try the last example by yourself, and then come back and check and see how you did. We know you can do this because we know you can combine like terms. See you in a bit. We're back with your ta -da, answer. Did you get W equals negative 7.5? If you did, fantastic, and make sure you check it, and it works. If you didn't, go back to combining your like terms and make sure you did that correctly, because we had a negative 5W and a positive 1 w when there is nothing in front of a variable you have to assume there's a invisible one there okay so negative five plus one is negative four w minus ten and you go from there Perfect. if you have any questions talk to your teachers this is not hard we got this one but you can saw hey guys algebra one kids are doing this you can do it too all right see you later